Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning. Good to be here. Okay. You can give us a little insight on the government's shutdown and where's our tax return? Well, that's a great topic, uh, and I'll say I appreciate your time this morning and on your program. Uh, the simple good news is that the government shutdown, uh, unfortunate and terrible situation that is, and hopefully to be resolved soon, has absolutely uh, very little impact on taxpayers, on the IRS's ability to process tax returns, which is scheduled to start on time. In fact, uh, they're accepting tax returns right now, or they're, we're preparing tax returns right now, and they'll be accepting them on Monday the 28th when the IRS officially opens. Uh, there should be no impact or virtually no impact to tax refunds because the IRS has called up 40 or 50,000, you know, of their critical and even, you know, extended team members to help with that. Uh, they've worked tirelessly throughout the summer and the, the fall and the winter to get ready. So the government shutdown, uh, as bad as it is, does not impact taxpayers or their ability to file or their requirement to file, quite honestly, by April 15th. But most importantly, Valor, it doesn't impact their ability to get those tax refunds, which are so important to three out of four taxpayers. So they can file today. The IRS will start processing refunds on Monday, and uh, it should be non, uh, a non-issue to most taxpayers uh, unless you're in a unique situation and you, you know, need some of those extended personnel, which may not be on staff, uh, like you do it yourself, taxpayers. They may have you know, a little bit longer time on the call centers uh, or the walk-in centers. But for the vast majority, it's business as usual at IRS. It's business as usual uh, at most of your tax prep companies, and it's business as usual, even better than usual, uh, at Jackson Hewitt. Okay, Mark. Well, I'm going to take a different position here. I'm sure they're going to write me, call me, and all that kind of stuff. You know, uh, that's, isn't it kind of hypocritical? All those people who aren't getting paid, but those people maybe who don't work for the government are saying, oh, I'm still getting my tax return. There won't be, any, there won't be a lot of action behind getting this shut down Fix. Yeah, I, I agree with that. There's certainly a controversial element there, but I think in the larger picture, you know, those government workers are kind of caught in the middle of all this. I certainly recognize that, but the taxpayers and the hundred million that are due their tax refunds, you know, they certainly are caught in the middle. And the economic impact of not issuing 100 million tax refunds uh, because of this otherwise tax shutdown could be economically devastating. So I, I think the powers that be, both, you know, administration and our congressional elected officials and even the IRS officials who are, you know, probably some of the most, you know, selfless uh, voluntary working for no pay right now civil servants that I've ever met. They're wanting to do right, and I'm glad that they're now allowed to be there. Uh, but my point would be very simply that the taxpayers, you know, of all the people involved in this, you know, don't deserve to be harmed by this government shutdown. And even though the IRS is working for free, or many of them are working for free, as many unfortunate uh, government officers are right now, TSA, for example, uh, the tax returns will flow, and, and, and that cannot but help us all, I think, as Americans. I'm talking today with Mark Steber. He's the chief tax officer at Jackson Hewitt. Mark, this tax period is the first after the major tax reform. What can us ordinary ordinary Americans expect? Well, good news is, Valder, that uh, you can expect better tax benefits. You know, there's been a lot of political pundits who say this was a tax cut for the rich, and there are some elements in there, uh, alternative minimum tax, just one example, lower rates being another. But there's benefits in there that touch all Americans, you, me, uh, non-ordinary or ordinary, low income, moderate income, high income, no income or unemployed. There are new benefits in there that all taxpayers need to watch for. There are new credits, uh, as with the other dependent credit for other dependents that might be in your household. There's a doubling of the child credit to $2,000. There's a quadrupling of the income level that those people who have children can qualify for the credit and not lose that credit where it was much lower in prior years. A doubling of the standard deduction, which all taxpayers at every income level uh, get to enjoy if they don't itemize. The doubling of the standard deduction for married is $24,000. The doubling of the standard deduction for single taxpayers is twelve, And if you're unmarried with a child, it's eighteen. dollars uh, There are benefits for small business, faster depreciation, faster expensing of 
assets, a new deduction for your qualified business income that you get if you're small business or self-employed, or a ride share, or a, you know, Airbnb or what have you. Uh, there's some lost benefits in there that maybe will confuse taxpayers. The uh, exemption deduction went away, but as I say, some of those other benefits are looking to offset it. So there's benefits virtually for every income level. And I won't even talk about states. Texas, of course, doesn't have a state income tax, but if you're in a state with an income tax, there are benefits there as well. There's a lot to watch for this year. It is not your income tax return of last year and just replicate it out. Uh, that would be one of the areas that I caution your viewers or your listeners for. Don't just think you can look at last year's tax return, take a smartphone or a tablet, and get the same result. A lot of changes are going to be present this year. Mostly good. Some might be bad if you're in a unique situation, but the vast majority of taxpayers should see a lower overall tax burden this year, we think. Finally, any advice for people who are going to be doing their own taxes? Absolutely. Uh, and I would give similar advice to those who are going to be paying a professional. It's simply to start early to be sure taxes are confusing. Uh, but there's no reason to wait. Your information is either in your hands, as with your W-2 or your 1099s, or it will be by uh, the latter part of next week on the 31st. So get started, especially if you're a do-it-yourself, or you may have questions. You may have longer hold times or wait times or, or not somebody available at an IRS walk-in center because all the folks at IRS didn't come back. A, a good majority of them did, but not all. So if you have questions or you need a little bit more time this year or you have some unique issue with a family life change or one of the tax law changes, getting help might not be as easy uh, as if you walk into a tax professional's office. But there's certainly help out there. There's certainly resources out there. And, and even at a company like Jackson Hewitt where we pay professional you know, tax prep is, is our core cornerstone, we have self-prep software and we answer questions for any taxpayer who's looking for more information or who just just want something clarified for them. And so we're glad to help. Uh, most good tax companies are that way. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're an adventure spirit and you want to take those you know, bold steps to go alone, you know, make sure you start early so you have a little extra time and time to go find that help that might not be so readily available. Mark Steber, I want to thank you so very much. And once again, where do you want everybody to go online? JacksonHewitt.com. Just that simple. Tools, resources for the do-it-yourself. Or if you want to find an office, put in your zip code. All the offices pop up near you. Contact information if you want to drop in or make an appointment or just call them up. But the JacksonHewitt.com is the best place to start. All right. I see your guys are not on a slowdown. So thank you so much, Mark Steber, Chief Tax Officer at Jackson Hewitt. Thank you, Valder. Have a great day.